exotic, exciting, a remote island paradise. For close to a century, filmmakers have flocked to the Hawaiian Islands to bring their visions of lands far away to life. Several films have reached iconic all-time blockbuster status. But in the end, Hawaii essentially remained a glamorous backdrop, not the exciting birthplace of great ideas and projects. Now, imagine a world where the creative process actually begins here in the Aloha State, where creatives develop series and features right here at home for the global market. To help accelerate the creative content industry, the State of Hawaii Department of Business, Economic Development and Tourism's Creative Industries Hawaii founded Creative Lab Hawaii in 2012. Creative industries and the film and TV market in the state of Hawaii represents about 260 to 280 million dollars worth of gross domestic product added to the state's economy. It's a it's a significant portion uh, in terms of what it can do to help diversify the employment opportunities for people in the state of Hawaii. Creative Lab Hawaii amplifies the skill sets of entrepreneurs in the fields of media, music, and fashion through public panels, ideation weekends, and year-long immersive programs to deepen their understanding of their craft and business. The programs target creators, writers, and producers ready to make it happen in the global entertainment business. The great thing about Hawaii is that Hawaii is a great history of storytelling. Uh, and in my humble opinion, it hasn't really been tapped to its fullest potential. And uh, Creative Lab Hawaii has consistently looked for creative entrepreneurs who are willing to tell native stories, and indigenous stories, and stories about Hawaii, its people, its legends, and its culture, to be able to, as a way to differentiate itself from the other content that's out there in the world. While unique ideas for shows and movies may have their origins in Hawaii, the deals to actually finance and produce these projects are typically still made in Hollywood. Through Creative Lab Hawaii's immersive programs focusing on writing and producing, yet to be discovered aspiring talent are given the opportunity to break into the biz. From each immersive cohort, two to three participants are selected to attend industry conferences and markets to pitch and sell their projects. They include the American Film Market, the American Society of Composers, Authors and Publishers, the Magic Fashion Trade Show, the National Association of Television Program Executives, the Game Developers Conference, and VidCon. Six fellows attended the recent American Film Market in Santa Monica, where Robert and Stacey Barkley were selected to pitch their one-hour television series titled High Conflict before an expert panel of Hollywood veterans and about 400 enthusiastic AFM attendees. Coming from Hawaii and being chosen to do the pitch was, was amazing because we were writing about life in Hawaii. I don't know if that's as interesting to people who don't live in Hawaii, but we had a really good response from the audience and from the, um, the panel, so it means a lot. What it means to me is seeing here the level of talent and ability and passion and how we can take this back to Hawaii, that we can do all this in Hawaii ourselves. That's what I, I, I take from this. I want to do everything that they're doing here in California and do it in, in Hawaii. You have people from all over the world here, and the fact that the state of Hawaii uh, has such a good representation, and the fact that we have some of our graduates, our graduates that have come for, through the Creative Lab Hawaii program, here pitching the products. Th that's an amazing opportunity for our state, and something that we gotta keep on doing. Since its beginning on Oahu, the program has expanded to the neighbor islands with the support of counties, economic development boards, and the various film offices. In collaboration with media, music, and fashion organizations, Creative Lab Hawaii participants are mentored by industry experts committed to providing them with coaching that makes a difference on both personal and professional levels. We see the importance in really mentoring writers. So what we've done for the last, I believe, four years now is take writers, working writers here in the States to mentor writers in Hawaii um, through the program that Georgia Skinner oversees. And it's just, I think it's been really great because they get a really great perspective from working writers that are working in Hollywood. And I mean, they're really 100% committed to working with these folks and making sure that they reach their goal and their potentials as writers. But unless you go to film school in Los Angeles, unless you come up in the business, you're not going to know those people, right? So that knowledge base, that group in Hawaii, and, and the fact that the state is attracting people from other parts of the country to build those connections, 
that's, that's how you get things made. Creative Lab Hawaii is the brainchild of Georgia Skinner, Chief Officer of Creative Industries Hawaii. It's so exciting to be here and to see Hawaii so well represented by creatives that are developing content that's marketable commercially. And that wouldn't be possible without Creative Lab and the support of the Hawaii Legislature and the U.S. Department of Commerce. Imagine what it would be like if a series from Hawaii, developed by a Hawaii person, was creating those hundreds and hundreds of jobs for a television series, for example, or for a feature film. Each idea blossoming into a feature film creates jobs for five or six hundred people. Each idea that may be brought forth through Creative Lab and sold as a TV series would create 400 jobs on a regular basis for Hawaii. But to have our own make the leap of, across the pond, be sold, and creating these jobs would be incredible to sustain our film and creative industries in the state.